year three. So today we're going to look at finding the perimeter of rectangles. Now perimeter, if you remember, is the distance around the edge of a shape. Now rectangles can come all different ways. If I put these any which way round, they are still rectangles. Okay, these are rectangles. So the first thing we're going to do today is recap what we know about rectangles. So we know they have one, two, three, four sides, four vertices, four corners. And if I was to fold this rectangle here and here, it would match. So it has two lines of symmetry. It would be the same on both sides if I folded along those lines. So four sides, four vertices, two lines of symmetry. And I also know that that side is the same length as that side. And that side is the same length as that side. And to show that, I'm going to label those. Just find a pen that works. There we go. Right, I'm going to call this one A, this side here A. And I know that that is the same length as this side. So I know that that is the same length as that. I also know that this here, which I'm going to call B, this side is the same length as this side. So these two sides are the same and these two sides are the same. And that means that I don't need to know every length of a rectangle when I'm trying to find its perimeter. All I need to know is one of the A's and one of the B's. So, let's say that, um, let's have a look at this yellow rectangle here. So, I've measured this and I know that this one here is three centimetres and this one here is eight centimetres. Now, what that, actually that's not true, that's 10 centimetres, that's 10 centimetres. There we go. Now I know that that means, because these two are the same, that this one must also be 10 centimetres. And because I know that these two are the same, that this one is 3 centimetres, so this one must also be 3 centimetres. So I can find out all of the sides and then do 10, add, 10, add 3, add 10, add 3, which equals 26 centimetres. Now there is a faster way of doing that. Another way you can do it is go 10 and 10. So 10, add 10, add 3, add 3. And because we're all superstars at doubling, we know that that is 20, add 6, which equals 26 centimetres. It's just a slightly faster way of doing it. So you can work out the perimeter of a rectangle by doing that. So have a go at the questions on the slide and email me if you have any questions.